Hey y'all, it's Laura here, getting ready to do a reverse dip bottle flower. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, usually when I do my um, reverse dip flowers, they are just swirled paint on the canvas and, and then I lay a paper towel or a napkin over it and then pull it up and then create my flower that way. But today I am using the bottom of a two liter bottle and the bottom of a soft drink bottle to create my uh, flower petals. As usual, um, the details about the paints and the pouring medium that I'm using will be in the description. So you can check that out when you have time. I hope you just enjoy it. I'm gonna fast forward through the majority of this video and you can just kind of watch the creation and, and hopefully we will end up with something um, that I enjoy, or at least looks like a flower. Thanks, y'all.
Okay, now I am just taking a napkin that is larger than my canvas and I'm gently laying it over the top, trying, I, trying not to, to scoot it back and forth. I just want to gently lay it on top of the paint and now I'm just barely touching the top of the paint, trying to get all the air bubbles out of the, um, between the, the napkin and the paint. And so I just go over each one of the creases there. If for some reason you lay this over and there's a big crease in the middle of it, do not pull it up. Just continue to gently tap it down and try to get the air out of it as much as possible without moving the napkin over the top of the flower. And so once I feel like I've got all the air out, I take the corners and I begin to, I bring them together into the middle bring up all four corners so they meet before I actually start to actually lift the napkin off of the paint. Just bringing up the napkin will automatically start that process. Once I have all my corners gathered, I lift straight up slowly, knowing that once I get it completely off the canvas, it's going to want to drip. And so that's what happened here. And so I have this little squiggly drip that driving me crazy right now. And um, so I'm gonna go get a skewer to uh, help me fix that little squiggle. And so I'll use my skewer then to um, kind of bring the sides in together and just kind of make that middle look a little bit better. Okay, there you have my little flower, just using my torch to get any last little air bubbles out. The torch also heats up the paint a little bit, and with the type of paint that I've used, it creates that little effect uh, um, in the white that you see that feathering outside of there. And you have my reverse dip 
bottle flower. I hope y'all enjoyed yourself. I had fun. Thanks for spending your time with me, guys. You're the best.